so I am getting my COVID-19 vaccine today. Um, I am super duper nervous. Um, super duper nervous. I actually originally said I was not going to get it at all. Then I said, well, I'll just wait until the summer. <laughs> until enough people have taken it and I can trust that, you know, I won't grow a second head after I take it. Um, and then I don't know, last few days I've been really thinking about it. I've done my own research and talk to people who have had it themselves already and I I have decided that I'm gonna get it um, it's what I think is important um, it will make me feel a little bit better being out in the world and doing things if I have a little bit of protection I know it's not a hundred percent but it's it's really good it's better than what I have right now with this mask by itself so I'm gonna do it um, and all I can say to everyone is you make your own choices that's best for you if you want to get it, get it. If you don't, don't. But please make the decision for yourself. Um, anywho, I'm at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium right now. Fulton County Health Department, if you're in Georgia, is giving them there. Um, you do have to go online and schedule an appointment. Um, so mine is today, Saturday at 1230. I'm a little early, which is good because I have time to be lost. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to film it and then... I will kind of do a follow-up with my side effects that I get, if any, um, from it. Hopefully just a sore arm, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, here we go. Alright. Waiting in line. It's a pretty long line, actually. I guess that's a good sign. really fast so I didn't have a chance to film that but now I'm sitting here in the waiting area I have to wait for 15 minutes before we're allowed to leave but um yeah I got it it's done it actually didn't hurt at all so we'll just wait got my card this is my record I am half vaccinated for COVID-19. I really was going to record when I got the shot. I wanted to. But it was so quick, like how they kind of like usher you to a table, sit you down, and then they just stick you. So, yeah, there was actually a lot of people. I was going to ask them, can I film it? But it felt kind of awkward. And um, then there's so many people there. I didn't want to have to fumble with my camera and everything like that. So, um. But I did get it. Um, I got the Pfizer Biotech and I have to come back in 21 days. Um, I'll probably just come back here because this was pretty easy. I'm at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. They, hey, you know, it's funny. They were giving out free masks. And so I went up there to get one. Um, one of them is cute. It just has like the city of uh, Atlanta on it, like the little skyline. Oh, it feels good too. So this one's cute. It's like the city of land. That's our big Ferris wheel. I like that. It says mask on. So I took one of these, but they had some other um, masks too that they were giving out. And then I saw it had Falcons on there. No, ma'am. No, thank you. Cause I'm a hoot at for life. Even though I'm not really watching football right now. <laughs> I did take a Atlanta UFC. I don't even know. It's soccer. Whatever our soccer team is in Atlanta. I don't watch soccer, but anyway got it um i feel fine nothing happened my arm is already starting to feel a little bit sore though um but other than that i'm fine i'll check in with you guys later today and then over the next couple days um but yeah i expect to feel fine if anything maybe a headache body aches and that's it hopefully so i'll let you guys know thanks for coming with me bye <coughs> Alright guys, so it's about 10 o'clock at night, so not quite 12 hours since the shot, but um, I'm tired, I'm about to go to sleep, <laughs> and I just wanted to 
I'll let you know, let you guys know how I was feeling this evening after the vaccine. And my arm is sore, um, but like I can move it. It's not an issue. Um, no worse than the flu vaccine that I got. Um, but nothing else. I don't have a fever. I don't have a headache. Body's not hurting. Um, I'm tired, but I'm always tired at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> um, I feel fine. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I did read, sorry, that was my, my rabbit scared me. <laughs> I did read that after the second vaccine, some people were having more side effects than, from the, than the first. Um, so, but we'll see what happens with this. And I'll let you guys know tomorrow when I'm 24 hours out. So it's Monday. I had my shot on Saturday. Um, yesterday, all I had still was just a sore arm. Nothing else. I didn't get any fever, any body aches, any chills. Uh, today, Monday, my arm doesn't even hurt anymore. And I'm still not sick. So, um, 48 hours out, I say no reaction yet so I don't think I'm gonna get one so yeah I'm gonna do my little check in to vSafe so vSafe is a website that you go it's connected with the CDC and basically you just they send you a text every way every day to check in um, it asks you how you're feeling today I feel fine have I felt any fever no um, none and none of these symptoms either. And basically it's just a way to continue to track, uh, if people are having issues with the vaccine. So they're going to send me this every day. I think they said every day for six weeks. I don't know. And then it'll start over again. Um, once I get my second dose, um, but this is asking me, did any symptoms prevent me from being able to work, do my activities, or go to the doctor? None of the above. And that's it. And if I had reported something, um, it says that someone from the CDC would be contacting me. Um, but I have been fine, so it's been great. Alright guys, I'm just going to wrap this up. I'm on the way to drop off Miss Leah. She's in the back there eating, eating. Um, so anyways, um, I did get a headache on day three after the vaccine. Um, my badge. I did get a headache on day three of the vaccine, um, but took some Motrin and it went away and that's it. So I think I'm out of the woods for any serious uh, issues from it. Um, so yeah, if you decide to get your COVID-19 vaccine, probably best bet is to contact your local health department. If you're a healthcare worker already, um, your job may have reached out to you with arrangements to get it. But my advice to you is to make the decision for yourself. This is a very polarized issue with, I do understand people not wanting to get it because it's brand new. I, the only thing I can do is just pray about it. And honestly, getting the vaccine for me has put my mind a little bit more at ease. I am a healthcare worker. I do talk, um, I do see patients every day. And uh, I don't work in a hospital setting, but still I am more exposed because I am going to um, people's homes. So my advice is do your own research. Look at reputable sources. Please not Facebook or these dark web conspiracy websites do your own research come to your own decision and do what's best for you okay all right and sorry the girls aren't here to say it um, but please go ahead and like and subscribe and remember you have a good day